Yaakov, James 1. Yaakov, a servant of Yahuwah and of the Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting, my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your belief works patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yah, that gives to all men liberally, and upbraids not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in belief, nothing wavering, for he that wavers is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of Yahuwah. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withers the grass and the flower thereof falls, and the grace of the fashion of it perishes, so also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life, which Yahuwah has promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of Yah, for Yahuwah cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempts he any man, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Every good and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, and that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man works not the righteousness of Yahuwah, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and abundance of wickedness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholds himself and goes his way and straightway forgets what manner of man he was. But whoso looks into the perfect Torah of liberty and continues therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be observant and bridles not his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this man's observance is vain. Pure observance and undefiled before Yah and the Father is this, to visit at the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world.